temple is really complete without the, the archway. The archway serves as a beacon to welcome all the world. And we invite the whole um, world, really, to come and visit us and to see um, what we are all about. It's, it's so different from what I grew up with that it's like, okay, just trying to fit the pieces together. And so the way we try and make contact with that Almighty is by creating specific embodiments in either human or animal form in order to try and connect to the Almighty. And while Hinduism is monotheistic by nature, we have different representations of the deities. So whatever your personal connection is, to different parts, wherever you are from India. You might be from the north or south. We have different cultural differences. And these are represented in various mini temples and mini gods which are representing the true originals from India. Well, I'm one of the devotees who has been uh, fortunate enough to see our dreams come true after about 32 years uh, of hoping for building a place like this. Now, anytime when you're performing the prayer to God, you are expressing your love by offering various things which do not involve the death of anything. So you will be offering flowers, you will be offering fruits, you will be offering honey, you will be offering sweets which I love very much. So lots of different things are offered during the service. Because light represents knowledge, victory of knowledge or the ignorance, victory of brightness or the darkness, and victory of immortality or the death. So even when the prayer is done, that particular dish carrying the light is carried to the devotees, and devotees put the hand on it and put on their forehead trying to get that knowledge, get that immortality, that get that truth inside your head. Because we recognize that every human being has the same divine spark within that individual.